couple of good Samaritans being praised tonight after mowing the lawn of Oak Cemetery in Fort Smith. According to some residents, overgrown grass on city property has become a big problem in the city. Five News reporter Veronica Ortega spoke to the city and has the story. Pictures posted to social media of the overgrown lawn at the cemetery inspired one woman to take action. A whole lot of people were talking about it, but that's as far as it went. And I wanted to actually do something about it. Armed with her weed eater and push lawn mower, Caitlin Donnelly started to cut away at the tall grass. 12 year old Jarek Davidson saw Donnelly struggling and decided to help. And I wanted to go help her because there was no one else out there with her. And then, and I felt real bad. It's just him showing so much kindness and. I don't know. He's just amazing. One man whose son is buried at Oak Cemetery says the city has not lived up to its promise to maintain it. The the roads uh, within the cemetery are they're just they're they're a travesty. I mean, it's bump left and right. You know, getting to to the plot. Um, the grass has been overgrown um, for quite a while now. According to city officials, upkeep at Oak Cemetery is a challenge sometimes, with certain areas becoming swamp-like after heavy rainfall. Fort Smith has received more than 13 inches of rain since mid-August. All of our ground is saturated, and when we try to take our zero-turn mowers and our mowing equipment, it gets stuck. It creates ruts. Budget cuts caused by COVID-19 also impacting city resources. We number one. Uh, suspended all seasonal positions and the Parks Department utilizes a lot of seasonal positions to help with our maintenance. Crews were out today finishing the job started by a Good Samaritan and her young helper. Although Donnelly is being praised for her small gesture, that's not why she decided to do something. I appreciate it and but that's not why I did it. I did it because the people in turn there deserve it. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Veronica Ortega, 5 News. City says it does plan to examine the budget again soon and hopes to hire more part-time workers to help with maintenance at local parks and at cemeteries.